Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to see the new version we released of one of our top plugins, Git WooCommerce HX Product Filter. We have redesigned the dashboard and added new options so you can offer your customers the best filter and improve their shopping experience. Before we get into it, let me remind you that you'll find the links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo with access to the admin dashboard below in the description or in the first comment. And now, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have an example of what you can do with the plugin. We're on the shop, we have the product listing here, and we have the filters here. See all the types of filters you can create, price lighter, checkboxes, drop-down menus, images to select the pattern, colors, and more. Let's go to the dashboard to see the new and improved panel. Let's go to Yid, Ajax product filter, and we have these sections, filter presets, general options, customization, CO, your store tools, help, and the option to collapse the menu. In filter presets, we can create unlimited filter presets to add to the shop so users can filter products. And we're also going to find all the groups of filters we have created here, but we're going to leave this section for the end of the video. Let's go to general options now. So here we'll find all the global options available for the filters we create. We can choose the filter mode. Right now I have instant results selected. This means that as soon as I click on a term, the filter will be applied in real time using Ajax. Let me show you. Let's choose for example accessories. And there we go. The filter is applied immediately. And the other option is to add an apply filters button that customers will need to click on after selecting the term to apply the filters. Then we have the filter mode for horizontal filters. We can choose to show a save button or to filter immediately, similar to what we have here. Then we have the option to show results in the same page using Ajax or to load the results on a new page without Ajax. Now here we have some of the new options added to the latest version of this plugin. This was actually a much requested feature, variations filtering. If we enable this option, only variable products with variations that match all the selected terms will be shown as results. I'm going to enable this option and I'm going to save. Let's go to the shop now. I have this t-shirt available in three sizes and two different color combinations, black and white, which you can see in the product image, and purple and white. I added a different image for the purple and white variations, but the main product image is this one. Let's see how variations filtering works. I'm going to filter by size first. We get all the products with the size medium, including this t-shirt, and now let's choose purple and white to filter by color. And there, I get as a result the only variation I have in size medium and color purple and white. Let's go back. Keep in mind that enabling this option will automatically activate the option to enable table usage in WooCommerce settings, so the product attributes lookup table is used for filtering. Then we also get this new option, lazy filters loading. If this is enabled, the filters would load asynchronously using Ajax to speed up the initial page loading. And then we can also paginate terms. If this is enabled, taxonomy filters will display a maximum of 10 terms. If there are more terms available, users will see a show more link to display the remaining terms. And also the selected term will be shown at the top to make sure it's always visible. Let's see that. Save. Let's go to the shop. So here we have a filter by color. I'm seeing only 10 terms, but if I click on show more, I see two more terms that were hidden. Let's select this one for example, silver. And there, now it's shown as the first term here because it's selected. Let's go back, let's scroll down, then we have the options to hide empty terms and out of stock products. Let's enable this option. Now consider I'm enabling this option to hide out of stock products and this other option, variations filtering, is also enabled. Let's save, let's go to the shop. We're going to take a look at this product. So this is another variable product with four different sizes. All of these variations are in stock except for the large variation. This one is out of stock. So we're going to filter by size now to see how this option works. Let's filter by size small first. Okay, so here is the variation, black dot shirt size small. I'm going to reset the filter. I'm going to scroll down and now I'm going to choose large. And we do not have that shirt anymore here because size large is out of stock. Great, now let's go back. 
Before moving on, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time we publish a new video. Now, let's continue. We also have the option to show a clear link above each filter so we can clear the selection. We also have this great option to show filters as model on mobile devices because this plugin is optimized for mobile devices. So with this option enabled, users who visit the site on their mobile will also have a great user experience with these filters. Then we have the option to scroll top after filtering. I don't have this option enabled as you might have noticed. And then here we can configure the options for the active filters. We can shove active filters as labels. We have seen this throughout this video. We can choose the active filters label position. It can be before filters, after filters, or above products list. This is what I have selected right now. And we can show titles for active filter labels. Last, we have the reset button options. Here we can choose to show a reset button. It's the one I've been using so far. And here we can choose the position. Right now, it is in line with active filters. Now let's go to the following section, customization. Here we can customize the text, colors, and style of the filter options. We can enter a title for the filters area if we want to. I don't have anything added here. We can choose the colors of the area, the option style, how color swatches will be shown. They're square, like this. You can change them to rounded. You can choose the color swatch size here. Here you have the colors of the labels and the text. Here you have the edges loader. You can use the default loader or upload a custom one by uploading a file or entering a link. Then if we go to the following section, CO, we're going to find options to improve indexing when using filters, both to avoid common problems such as duplicated content and to allow changing links used for filters. So first we can choose to enable the CO option to add meta tags to the head tag of the page if filters are activated. Then here we can choose the meta tag to use. We can choose to disable it or we have no index, no follow, no index follow, index no follow and index follow. Here we can choose to add no follow to all the filter anchors across the plugin. And here we have an option that's available if you have chosen to show results on the same page using Ajax. We can choose to use customized permalinks, add filters parameters to the default link, or simply don't change the link at all. If this option is selected, the link will have a fixed length and will redirect directly to the filter page. This can be useful, for example, for users to share the page with the results with someone else. If you choose to apply filters by adding filters parameters to default links, then the filter page will have a link that's usually longer and includes all the parameters used to filter. Then we have the user tools section. This is where you can find additional tools to improve user experience, increase conversions and loyalize customers. We have several plugins here. The best options are wish lists, so you can also allow customers to create lists of products they want and share them with family and friends as well. And also gift cards, so you can sell gift cards in your shop to increase earnings and attract new customers. Last, we have the help tab. This is where you can find video tutorials, a link to the documentation so you can learn how the plugin works, a link to the playlist where we have all the video tutorials we recorded for this plugin, a link to the frequently asked questions in case you have any doubts, and a link to submit a ticket in case you need help from our developers. So now that we have seen all these sections, let's go back to the first section, filter presets. So presets are groups of filters. We group them to show them all together on the same page by using the shortcode. We can also use the widget or the block, we're going to see that later. When you first install the plugin, it includes a draft preset by default, but it's not here because I already created and edited all my presets. Here we can enable and disable each preset. We can also click here to edit each preset, click here to clone it, and click here to delete it. By clicking on add preset, we can create a new group of filters. We need to name the preset so we can identify it. We can choose the layout. The one preset we've been using in this video has a default layout, but we can also choose the horizontal layout. And here, under filters of this preset, we're going to find all the filters we create for this group. Since it's a new preset, there are no filters yet, but I can click on add filter to add one filter at a time. 
we're going to get lots of options for each filter and then we need to save the filter and save the preset to make sure it's all saved but we're not going to create a new preset now instead we're going to go back and edit the preset we've been using in this video the woman preset let's click here on edit so this preset with the default layout and all these filters is the one we have here on the shop if you pay close attention, you'll notice most of the filters have a title. This one, for example, has the title filter by category, but this first one does not have a title. That's because the category filter has a title here, enter as the name of the filter, and this one does not have a name. So here we have an in-stock on sell filter. We have this product categories filter with the label and image filter type and the terms right here with custom images. If we keep scrolling down, we have a filter by color with color swatches, which can be set up when creating the filter. We can even add more than one color per term by clicking here and set the color like this. And we have lots of other filters below. Now let's see how to add a pretty simple filter. Let's add a filter by brand with the tags I have on the site. We're going to click on add filter. So I have the tags created in products tags. I have assigned them to specific products and now I want to use them to create the filter. First, let's name it filter by brand. Now let's choose what the filter is for. We have taxonomy, order by, price range, price lighter, review, and in stock on sale filters. Let's choose taxonomy and then we need to choose which taxonomy we're going to use for the filters. We can choose product categories, product tags, and then we have all the attributes created on the side, color, material, size, style, and texture and patterns. Let's choose product tags. Then we can enable the option to auto-populate this filter with all terms. So it adds all the existing terms in the taxonomy I selected, product tags, and all the terms I create in the future will also be automatically added here. I'm not going to enable this. Below we can enter the terms we want to include in this filter. For example, let's type in Gucci there. Or we can click here on add all to add all the tags created. And we can remove them all by clicking here. Next, we have the filter type. We can use checkboxes, radio buttons, a selectable menu, text, color swatches, or labels and images. Let's choose this one. We can choose to show the labels below, on the right, or hide them. And then we can enter the number of items we want to show per row. Let's do three per row. We can choose to customize the terms one by one or disable the option to use the default labels and images assigned to these terms. Let me enable it again. We can edit all the labels and tooltips and add custom images here for each term. Let's edit this label for example, there. Then we can choose to show the filter as a toggle and make it open or closed by default. Then we can choose how to order the terms. We can order them by name, slag, term count, term order, or we can drag and drop the terms to assign them a random order. I'm going to choose term count. This is the number of products that have each tag assigned. And let's do it descending. So it goes from the tag that's assigned the most to products to the one that's assigned to fewer products. We can choose to show the count of items with each term, allow multiple selections so users can select multiple terms when filtering. And when this is enabled, we can decide how the multiple selection should behave. If we choose end, then the results will match all the selected terms at the same time. If we choose or, then the results will match at least one of the selected terms. Let's skip end selected. And last, we can choose to hide the terms that won't throw any results when the filters are applied or show them, but make them not clickable. Let's skip the first option selected. Now we can save the filter and save the preset always so the changes are saved. And let's go to the shop to see this new filter. Let's scroll down and here it is. We have rows of three terms and they're ordered by term count. So the first tag is assigned to 12 products, the second one to eight and so on. And the last one is the one assigned to the less number of products. Let's select the first term to filter. All the other terms are hidden now because no product has two different tags assigned. So the other terms won't show any results with this selection due to the filter configuration. And here we have all the products that have that tag assigned. Now let's go back to the dashboard to see how you can add these presets to your site. Let's go to the presets list. We're going to see how to use this other preset which has a horizontal layout. 
different than what we've seen so far. So, the first way you can add a preset to a page is by copying the shortcode that's generated by the plugin. Let's copy it here and let's go create a new page. This is going to be our sample page. Let's add a shortcode here. Let's paste the shortcode we copied. In this case, I want to make sure no sidebars are visible. Let's see a preview. And there we go. That's the horizontal preset. We have a filter by category, by color, by material, by size, by price. We can use the price lighter here. Then we have a filter by review and additional filters here to filter products on sale and in stock. We can add the product listing below so customers can filter products. Let's go back to the dashboard and let's delete this shortcode. We can also add the preset with this block, Keith Ajax filters preset. And I need to choose which one of the presets I have created I want to add here. I'm going to select this one and there we go. We have all the filters here. Now, the third way you can add a preset is by adding it to a widget area. You can add a dedicated widget to a sidebar and then in your page settings, you can choose what sidebar to use. Let's see how to add the widget. Let's go back to appearance widgets and let's expand any of these sidebars. And let's add the Yid Ajax Filters preset widget. We have to choose the preset again. Let's choose the shop page preset again. We can see a preview here. And now let's choose the woman preset, the one we've been using for most of this video. And we can see all the filters in this preset here. And that's it. That's how easy it is to configure and add filters to your site to help your customers find the products they want to buy. Okay, so as so you can configure and use the plugin, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.